Let's now solve question number 12 from our September 2024 RTP. This question is on borrowing cost accounting standard 16. Quite unique one because this question has data about bank overdraft which is usually not tested in any of the study material RTP, MTP or past exam question. Quite new even considering final material in place. Let's see. Loyal Limited has undertaken a project or expansion of capacity as per the following details. They have given their planned expenditure and they have given their actual expenditure. For now, keep your planned expenditure aside. It is not of much relevance because interest will be computed only when the money is actually spent, not when it is planned to be spent. So, we will take what into consideration? Only actual expense into consideration. So, 4 lakh was spent in the first month, October. Second month, November, you spent 7 lakh 95. This 7 lakh 95, what is spent is over and above 4 lakh. So, cumulative expenditure will be 11 lakh 95 thousand. In the third month, December, there is no spending. Then 50, 2 lakh and 1 lakh. So, these are our actual expenditures. I would write month, October, November, December, January, February, month. How much is our actual expenditure? First month, it is 4 lakh. Next month, 7 lakh 95 thousand. Third month, 0. And then it is 50. After that, 2 lakh, finally 12 lakh. This is actual expenditure income. This is not cumulative. Cumulative, we would have to find. Cumulative, we would have to find. And I will tell you why is cumulative not so simple. Usually, we do know 4, uh, 11 lakh 95, 12 lakh 45. We do that straight. In this question, it is little tricky. The reason being, the company pays to its bank interest at 15% per annum, which is debited on monthly basis. Till now, whatever we did, interest was on annual basis. So, you could do cumulative and then do into interest percentage into number of months by 12. Very easy. Now, you can't do that. Why? 4 lakh is there, no? On that, interest will be computed for first month. Second month amount outstanding on which interest will be computed is not 4 lakh. It is 4 lakh rupees which is spent in October plus interest on 4 lakh for October plus 7 lakh 95 thousand what is incurred in November. On three items together, interest is computed in second month. So, this is an overdraft account where interest is computed on monthly basis and charged to you on monthly basis. If you do not pay October's interest by October in the month of November, on October's interest also interest will be computed. But D, compounding monthly, compounding. Are you getting this? That is the reason cumulative is not simple. And whoever reads this monthly basis should remember, okay, till now what we were doing was annual basis. Now we should do on monthly basis. During the half year, company had 20 lakh overdraft up to 31st December. So our overdraft account had how much borrowing? 20 lakh. Still when? 31st December. So October amount outstanding is 20 lakh. November amount outstanding is 20 lakh. December amount outstanding is 20 lakh. Till 31st December it is 20 lakh. Not after 31st December. What have they told after that? Surplus cash in January. In January, they did not have negative balance. In their overdraft account, there was no overdraft. They had a positive balance. In January, when they have surplus, bank will not charge interest. So, interest can not be capitalized, though you have spent 50. Sir, how? When you spend this 50,000 in the month of January, your bank account has positive balance. Meaning, that 50,000 is not out of borrowings. When there is no borrowings, no interest. January month, interest will be zero. January month, interest will be? Why? Borrowing here is general borrowing overdraft. In the month of January 2024, there is no borrowing. When there is no borrowing, there can be no interest. So, January month, interest will be zero. Do you all understand this? Paka. Let's go forward. What's after that? And again, overdraft of 14 lakhs. From 1st of February 2024. Meaning in the month of February, there is 14 lakh rupees overdraft value. How much is overdraft in February? 14 lakh. Sir, why is this column very important? This is a very crucial column. Why? Let us say first month, our expense is 4 lakh. But our overdraft is 20 lakh. So, we will pay interest on 20 lakh or 4 lakh. We will pay interest on 20 lakh. But how much is spent on qualifying asset? 4 lakh. So, interest proportionate to 4 lakh can be capitalized. Interest proportionate to 16 lakh is used for working capital. It cannot be capitalized. 
only interest relating to qualifying asset can be capitalized. Do you agree with me? After that interest on 4 lakh, with that interest 4 lakh plus 7 lakh together, it will come to about 11 lakh or between 12 lakh rupees. Borrowing is 12. Actual expense is, sorry, borrowing is 20. Actual expense will be around, tw around 12. So, interest will be paid on 20 lakhs. But spent on qualifying asset will be around 12 lakhs. So, only relating to 12 lakh, whatever interest is there will be capitalized, not on 20 lakhs. Are you getting it? Let us say I have taken general borrowings of 20 lakhs. In that only 5 lakh is spent for the asset, qualifying asset. Will I charge entire 20 lakhs interest to qualifying asset? Only interest relating to qualifying asset will be charged to the asset. Which is not relating to qualifying asset will be expensed by transfer to PNL. Are you getting it? It will be easy in October, November, December. December, ah, December also. I will tell you what will happen. By the time you come to January, no. Borrowing is 14 lakh. Your actual expense might be more than 14 lakh. See, illige, without considering monthly interest, <coughs> 4 plus 795 became 1195. Around 5 6000 interest is also there. Add additional 50. How much will it come, become? 12 lakh 50. Add another 2 lakh. <coughs> How much? 14 lakh. 14 lakh 45,000 rupees plus some interest. So, it is definitely more than 14 lakh. No. Borrowing is 14 lakh. Amount spent on the asset is 14 lakh 50 plus something. So, borrowing will be 14 lakh. Amount spent is 14 lakh 50 odd. So, that excess amount is paid out of own parts on that interest will not come. Interest will be computed not on the actual expense but on the borrowing of 14 lakh in the month of February. Shall I repeat? First month you incurred 4 lakh, second month 7 lakh 95, third month 0, four month 50, here 2 lakh. Together it comes to 14 lakh 50,000 odd without considering interest for October, November, December. It should also be considered. So, by the time you come to February, you spend more than 14 lakh 50,000 on the asset. But your borrowing is only 14 lakh in the month of February. Interest expense itself is on 14 lakh. And entire 14 lakh borrowing is used for the qualifying asset. So, entire interest will be capitalized and interest will not be on 14 lakh 50 or 14 lakh 60 or it will be on 14 lakh because actual borrowing is 14 lakh. Do you get that? This is the trick that you should remember. Understood that? So, only two important points. Point number one. This is overdraft interest is computed monthly, not annually. Point number two, overdraft balance is changing at the end of each period. You need to check overdraft balance and expense incurred cumulatively. If the expense incurred cumulatively is more, take on actual borrowing. If the actual borrowing is more, then you take on the cumulative expense incurred. Only on that you should compute. <coughs> okay. Ashte. Read the last part. 30 lakh in 1st of March 2024. So, in the March month, borrowing is 30 lakh. Got it? What is after that? Company had a strike during December and then could not continue the work during that set period. Okay. However, the substantial administrative work related to the project was continued. You need not suspend capitalization. You can continue capitalization because some work relating to administration was conducted during that strike period also. Laborers did the strike. Management is continuing their administration work. So, should you suspend capitalization? Should you pause capitalization? Continue, continue. Cessation Allah. Cessation is at the end. Suspension is in the middle when the active development is stopped. Do you suspend here? No. Why? They are still doing some administration work relating to the project. On-site work was again commenced on 1st of January. Basically, till here to here it was a biscuit. Work was completed on 31st of March. Work was completed on? <coughs> so, 31st of March work will compute interest. And one more thing, assume that expenditure was incurred on first day of every month. You would have done this even if they would have not told. Meaning, this expenditure what is incurred on 7,95. On this 7,95, expenditure interest will be computed for November only. Because I am assuming this 7,95 was incurred on first of November. Entire month interest will come. If it was incurred on 30th of November, December month interest will come on 7,95. Not November month's interest. Understood? That is it. We have the complete question read. All we need to do is compute the amount of interest to be capitalized. 
interest rate is 15%. Can I go ahead? This is the only data that we need. <coughs> Balance amount at the beginning of October is 0. Was there any outstanding at the beginning? Was there any expenditure incurred at the beginning before October? No. Fresh first expenditure 4 lakh. On 4 lakh, which is incurred on 1st of October. When is 4 lakh incurred? Interest at 15% for 1 month. For how many months? Compute Madi. 4 lakh into 15% into 1 by 12. 5000. Balance at the end is 4 lakh plus 5000. Opening balance plus actual expense plus interest. Opening balance 0 plus actual expense 4 lakh plus interest of 5. 4 lakh 5000 was outstanding. <coughs> Clear. Can I say November month opening date? There is how much money outstanding? 4 lakh 5000 is outstanding. How much is outstanding? 4 lakh 5 plus 7 lakh 95 is incurred. Together how much? 12 lakh. Balance for the month of November. Amount utilized for the month of November. Or balance on which interest is to be computed. Is 4 lakh 5000 last month's closing balance. Plus actual expense incurred on the first day of the month. 7 lakh 95 together 12 lakh. Here. 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 This is beginning. 0. Started with 0. You want me to write 4 lakh? There is no problem. I can write 4 lakh. After that day we borrowed. Okay. We can write 4 lakh. That helps. Okay. Balance is 4 lakh. Interest is 5000. Closing 4 lakh 5. 4 lakh 5 plus 7 lakh 95. 12 lakh. Now, November month interest should be paid on 12 lakh. But actually interest will be paid on 20 lakh. But how much should be capitalized? On 12. Here also, actual overdraft is 20, but balance is 4. Interest will be paid on 4. Interest paid on 4 will be capitalized. Actually, interest is paid on 20, but what is to be capitalized? Interest on 4. Here, actually, interest will be paid on 20, but interest to be capitalized is 12. Why? What is incurred for the asset is only 12. Please do 12 lakh into 15 percent into 1 by 12. 50. So, can I say closing balance is 12 lakh plus 15, 12 lakh 15? So, next opening balance will be how much? 12 lakh 15 and zero expenditure in December. So, same 12 lakh 15 will be outstanding. Am I right? Interest should be computed on 20 lakh and paid. But relating to the qualifying asset, it is only 12 lakh 15. How much can be capitalized? Interest on 12 lakh 15 or interest on 20 lakh? Interest on 12 lakh 15 can be capitalized. Agreed? So now tell me, on 12 lakh 15 at 15 percent for one month, how much is the interest? Can I say the closing interest will be, uh, sorry, closing balance will be 12 lakh 15 thousand plus 15 188, which is 12 lakh 30 thousand 188. So next period, opening balance is 12 lakh 30 thousand 188 plus 50 thousand, 12 lakh 80 thousand 188. <coughs> how much is the interest to be paid? 0. Why? Surplus. Either. We have positive balance. We do not have overdraft. So, because there is no overdraft, there is positive balance in bank account. No interest will be paid. Actual interest expenditure is 0. When actual interest expenditure is 0, there can be no interest during this month. Actually, interest is 0. So, no interest can be capitalized. Are you getting it? Understood? So, 12,80,188 will remain to be the closing balance for January. This is the tricky part. And when you come to February, 12,80,188 was there. Already spent on the asset, including borrowing costs so far capitalized. To add 2 lakh additionally, it will become 14,80,188 rupees is incurred on the asset, including interest which is capitalized. You are pondering around 14,50, no? 14,80 is the exact amount. How much is the actual borrowing? 14 lakh. How much is the actual borrowing? Interest is paid on 14 lakh. Actually, expenditure incurred on the asset 1480-188. Can I capitalize interest on 1480-188? No. A borrowing cost to be capitalized cannot exceed the actual borrowing cost. Actual borrowing cost is 14 lakh. 14 lakh into 15 percent into 1 by 12. 17. <coughs> 17,500. You understood here? Why did you take it on the overdraft balance? And the closing balance will be 1480,188 plus 17,500. 14,97,688. 
then the balance during the next period will be 1497688 plus the expenditure incurred on the first day of march 12 lakh is 26,97,688. What is the money incurred on the asset including the interest which is capitalized? 26,97,688. Got it? But what is the actual borrowing? 30 lakh. Interest will be computed and paid on? 30 lakh. Interest will be computed and paid on? Because the borrowing is 30 lakh. But capitalized only to the extent of 26,97,688. I will repeat, interest will be computed and paid on, but what will be capitalized? Only 26,97,688 into 15% into 1 by 12, 33,721. So, you add, you will get the closing balance of the asset. Amount incurred on the asset including interest which is capitalized, 27,31,409. This will be the cost of the asset. When it is ready to be put to use, which will be taken as per accounting standard 10 and depreciated for. Good one.